Oh, we're live. Hello, Hello everybody. Uh, today, welcome to uh, get um, Wednesday's guest artist. Our, it's a regular ske regularly scheduled guest artist, which who is Gracie Shack, and she usually paints in watercolors. But today, for the first time on this on this guest show series, she's painting with acrylic paint, and she's having she's really loving acrylic paint and having a lot of success with it. So um, she had painted a watercolor waterfall that she was really unhappy with. I believe it was last week, last Wednesday on our show. But th she tried it again in acrylics for the first. I mean, she's very new to acrylics, and 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 I think she it turned out awesome. Her water, her acrylic watercolor painting is awesome. Thank so you. She does practice paintings before she does this show. Um, oh my god! You're not joking. I did about three of these. <laughs> I was just like, I've got to get it right, you know. i got to get it right. Who do we have in the chat? So we have Norgis, if she's still here. Oh, hello there. And somebody called Gracie Shack. Oh, yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it so far. Maybe well, there's people there. working. Let me see who's watching. Yeah, maybe. People like to listen too, which is, you know, fair enough. I can... Yeah, lurking and listening is fine. I love my listeners, everybody. Even if you just listen, that's that's fine. Yeah. So everybody knows what this looks like now. I'm gonna yeah. do. I did the background in black because that was the only way I could think of getting the uh, getting the white, uh, you know, against the black. I thought it would show up much more. So. So yeah, well, so I can, uh, hold on. Carry up. I'm I just have to, I have to bring this up, the live up. Ah, uh, so, so that I can, so I can um, chat with people on my iPad. Ah. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's the live. Oh, more people came in. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Just a minute, <laughs> and I'll tell you who's here. Thumbs up the live. Yeah. Maybe we can get 20 thumbs up here. Let's try to get 20 thumbs up. Yes, please. That would be cool. Oh, okay. New, my new friend, Brett's Gaming Channel. He smacked the like on the way in, he says. Thank you. <laughs> he smacked it. <laughs> That's what he says. And uh, we have Bud in here. Hi, Hi Bud. Bud. We have Ian, Ian Jackson in here. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Hello, Bud. Okay, let's see who else. Let's see who else. <laughs> oh, Grayscale Painting's in here. Hello, Anthony. Oh, Goswina's in here. Hello, Goswina. And I'm not sure if Norgus R is still in here, but Norgus is in here. Yeah. So how do we all like this uh, watercolor painting? Oh, God. You see, I'm... Watercolor. Oh, acrylic painting. <laughs> not, not watercolor. Look, isn't her acrylic painting great? What's that? I said, great. I said, everybody, isn't her acrylic painting great? I think she's really doing, I think she needs to do a lot more with acrylic. She, she does. I think she's doing really, get, getting really good results with it. Oh, thank you, Diana. Yeah, I, I'm really, really proud of this one. I'm really happy. And I've even got the, um, the, the water. I've got that really good. I've got all the colors that you need in the water. Because there will be a touch of like Viridian hue with a bit of, say, cerulean blue or something that you can kind of, or turquoise even maybe, in the uh, in the water there. And that's that blue is kind of a really nice contrast compared with the black background and the white background. And then, you know, there's not much colour in this, but I think sometimes mm -hmm. simplicity, if you've got uh, colour harmony, uh, which basically means pleasing to the eye, you know, you've got enough, you don't want to bombard your painting full of color, you know. Why? But I don't understand. There's some art that is like really bold, bold colors. Well, that's true. Yeah, I think it's better to pull it off. I think if you can pull it off. Yeah. Okay. Think... Let me say hello to Hi Chrissy and Mystic Unigon. I don't know how to say out loud to Mystic Unigon in case she um is um driving. Hello, Chrissy. Hello, Mystic. Hello, guys. So this is my uh. Uh, my second, well, uh, stop saying watercolor woman, it's acrylics. One by the R, hello. 
Hello. It's habit, isn't it? Because yeah, I want that's a habit. I know, I know. Because you've been working, you've been working in watercolor for years. I know, this is it. Yeah. Now bear with me because I am new to this. Um, but I think I'm, I think I've come on quite well in the uh, in amount of time that I've I've only done this for a few days, haven't I, Diana? So well, well yeah, would well, you've been doing it for a week or less? Yeah, something like that. I think a week. No, no, no. You started some of my tutorials oh, about that's true, seven, yeah. ten days ago. Yeah, that's true. I remember that now. Oh, uh, wait, we have Alicia in here. Oh, awesome. Hi, Alicia. Oh, yes, Alicia. Hello, Alicia. Hello. Hey, Mar made a joke saying, he, well, I don't know if it's a, it's not really a joke, but he said he, he, he said cool ads this time. I oh, actually, yeah. always, I actually think the ads are pretty interesting and they almost get me, they, they, they almost keep getting me to buy stuff, even though I don't. <laughs> but they almost get me. To. So now here's the here's the original painting. I'm just going to be doing this part, which is the background, and then once I've dried the background, I'll be able to uh, put in the flowers. But I think I'll do the uh, waterfall. Um, I don't know when to do the waterfall. It'll have to be when I've painted the background and then paint the water and then start on. I think there's a little bit of dry brush technique with the uh, with the transparency of the waterfalls. Right. And and that's very impressionistic the way I've done the um, flowers. I've just kind of just dabbed it on with a paintbrush, you know, just to give it a bit of, you know. It just adds a bit of colour, doesn't it, the pink against the black, you know. So, hmm. so I'm, just, I'm just gonna do this top part of the background just now. Um, so I'm just putting, um, it's just black colour all the way to about there. Yeah. You know when you're doing acrylics, Diana, do you ever have anything that looks like a hot mess like you do with watercolour? Yes. Is that is that still the same? For well, you can still make muddy colours. Oh, okay. You know if you mix, but you can fix it. You can fix it no problem even after it dries um yeah. and i don't know if like if you just didn't uh compose if you don't have a good composition if if you um if you if you uh, if, or if you don't have like a very good nice color harmony so you could still things like that could still um mess up your acrylic painting yeah true but they can be fixed they can be fixed even after they're dried so for this part that I'm just doing here, it's just a basic, basic layer of black paint. And it's from here, from this top part here to about here. And then I'll do the water. Um, and I think I'll do the flowers before the waterfall because I'm going to want to spend a lot of time painting on the waterfall because that's really the focus of this whole kind of, you know, piece. Very, would you say that was uh, impressionistic, Diana? If you had to impressionistic, yeah, is that mm -hmm. what you're... um, I I'm pre kind of impression impressionistic, yeah, slash real uh, realistic. Oh, I like realistic. <laughs> That's a good one. So we... let that one dry. Um... Oh, I have a question for the chat. Um. Ian's saying he's not getting any advertisements, but um, I'm getting advertisements every time I'm going in and out. I keep getting advertisements on my on my video. I don't know if Ian's talking about every channel he goes to or Ian is just talking about my channel. I was wondering, and I just know that um, One Mighty R, he just mentioned that he he saw ads when he came in. Um, is other Are other people seeing ads when they come in on this, on this uh, live stream? When they come um, in, I did. I did before on your um, yeah this morning earlier, your earlier one. I'm just going to blast this dry just to speed up the. Uh, if that's okay. There we go. Chrissy, Chrissy, no, she's not using. Well, actually, she's using mixed media. She's doing water. She only uses watercolors at the top to do the flowery bushes. Yeah. And yeah. she's new to acrylic. All the rest of the painting is in acrylic. And, but, yes, she's working on paper. All okay. the rest of it's in acrylic, which is new to her. 
but she is doing she is doing the pink flowery bushes uh, with watercolor. Yeah. Thank you, Christy. Because oh, she, didn't, she didn't have the, um she actually couldn't find her red or something. I know. I, I was finding it hard to find my white my tubes of either white gouache or acrylic white. Was it titanium white and acrylic? Is that is that the colour? Titanium white? I think yeah. It's, yeah. It's, um, Oh my god! Yes, there's different kinds of white, and you should be using a titanium white. Yeah, and I went on Amazon looking for a single tube of acrylic white paint, and it's like trying to find a needle in the haystack. And half of them are all sold out. It's crazy. Mm. Like, you know, I mean, even like the kids' brands, they're all like sold out, and it's like what? Yeah, uh, I can only imagine that maybe any anybody that's in lockdown. They're all trying to keep busy, you know. So, and if you've got kids, it's probably a good idea to get them something arty and crafty to play with. But if you're trying to get like just one tube of paint, it's really tricky because it's a lot of them are sold out. So, oh, that's my mini rant of the day, Ian. <laughs> okay, Chrissy, I'm I'm a little confused. Um, did I answer your question, or did you have another question, Chrissy? Yeah, I think we answered the question. I well, no, I, I'm not. I'm confused. I, I'm wondering if she has a second question that I did not see. Oh well. So if, Christy, if Christy could let me know that, please. Yeah, take your time. It's okay. Thank you for the question, Chrissy, because it's it's good to ask questions because it will help everybody. I mean, you know, the beginners and everybody, and, and we all learn from each other. I mean, I'm still learning like a lot, you know, and I'm new to acrylics, and it's kind of a bit. I wouldn't say scary, but it's kind of a little bit, you know, when you've not tried something before, you know. So you, you know, you want to, you want to get it right, don't you? I'm just. Seeing I, I, we have some more people coming in the room. JCT says hello, Gracie. Hello, JCT. I'll just bring my original painting just so the people that's just popped in can see it. Hello, JCT. Thank you for the question, Chrissy. Blog, blog, uh, let me make sure if I didn't miss any more. Uh, and Jay, hello, JCT. Oh, and then um, Alicia came in with one of her other channels. Always believe one peaceful mind by Alicia. She just came in with another one of her channels. Oh, okay. I'm just. And, gonna... Oh, I think I have to do a light show. Oh. Bet, bet. I mean, Brett's gaming channel told me to look at my PayPal again. Ah. There's all this to take into account when you're a YouTuber. <laughs> this, well, this is new to me. He told me, look at my PayPal again. Okay, I got to do a light show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brett, for a, pay, for a PayPal donation. And I got to do, do a light show. <laughs> so I'm sorry, take, we're taking time out. That's okay. And oh God, okay, hold on. <laughs> I do that when I'm trying to figure stuff out. I'm sort of like, oh, why is it doing that? <laughs> oh wait, I don't have my light. Oh, you just keep painting, and I get it oh, together. Okay. I'll get it together. Can I do the dryer just to help it speed up the drying process? Yeah, that's perfect. Do doing the drying. There you go. Oh, I've got paint all over me. <laughs> Oh, well, never mind. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, I need to go and turn it on. I forgot to turn my... I had to get my extension need because um, I haven't got many plugs in the... I've only got about two plugs in here for the... Uh... I'll be back. Thank, oh, you. Thank you, Brett's gaming channel for your PayPal donation. Thank you. And you, I will be putting you in a shout out video at the end of May. Your channel in a shout out video at the end of May. Thank you so much, Brett's Gaming Channel. Here we go. I'm back. And I'm back, and and I can put you on the full screen again. I didn't turn the I didn't turn the plug on, did I? <laughs> oh man. Here we go. We have blast off. Sorry about this, guys.
Nine thumbs up. Awesome. Trying to get it to 20 thumbs up today. 20 thumbs up. Thank you, awesome. guys. Nine thumbs up. Awesome. Yay. Now then, I'm just going to go and get my blue colour for the water. Let me see. There you are. Oh, why is she not? Oh, we got another question from Christy. Chrissy. Okay, cool. Why is she not doing it all mm. in acrylic? She okay, Cr Chrissy asked, Why are you not doing it all in acrylic? It's because she, she didn't do the pink flowery bushes in acrylic because, um, for her practice painting because she couldn't find her red, she was missing her red. But today, are, are you going to? I found my red and I found her red, so I guess today she is going to do the whole painting in acrylic. Yeah, so it's all acrylics today. <laughs> yeah. I try and use my initiative, you know, if I haven't got a certain something, I'll, I'll try and, you know, use Hi, my... Hi, Nordisar. Hello there. This is my little tiny, weeny palette here. It kind of looks like indigo, but um, I keep thinking in watercolour terms. Because I'm kind of used to it. Aren't they vibrant, the, uh, the acrylics? Are they vibrant? vibrant i know they yeah yes i think i think i also think that watercolor painting can be vibrant too but um yeah. I, I, acrylic it doesn't it depends acrylic painting can be vibrant or you can make it very muted it's up to you yeah i know i know how, how vibrant you want to make it true yeah yep that's true If this is um, I've forgotten the name of this colour. Mm -hmm. If it if it was Holbein, um, what do you call it? Indigo. Do you still get that colour in acrylics? Oh wait a minute! I have to read a comment from. I have to read a comment from Ian. He says maybe because of the amount of the water in it, acrylics may not do well with the amount of water no it's okay on paper if you if you're painting if you're painting with acrylic on paper no problem with underbinding underbinding is not going to happen at all when you paint with acrylics on paper you can use as much water as you want with your acrylic paints ah. I'm not sure if that's what ian was talking about i guess he can repeat if, his question if that was not what he was talking about okay thank you ian thank you chrissy I'm just okay, going to... another question from Chrissy. Okay, cool. Sorry okay, what brand, what brand of paint? I think she means paint. And maybe you want to talk about what brand of brushes and what, uh, what brand of paint are you using? That is a very good question. And the answer is that it's Aldi's. I bought these at Christmas last year. Um, and I haven't tried them until now, which is, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of bad of me to leave it that long. Um, and it's Aldi's. Uh, they sometimes sell in the craft, you know, in at Christmas and that time of year, they sometimes sell art and craft sets. Um, and they're very cheap. They're very inexpensive, but they're not bad, though. Um, Aldi's, yeah. And then your brushes? Um, my brushes. <laughs> my brushes are mostly Royal and Nan Nickel. Um, this is the, let me see. This is uh, Royal and Nan Nickel Crafter's Choice. Uh, Royal and Nan Nickel. Um, they're just a fantastic. I love these brushes. Um, yeah, I need to try those brushes. I yeah. need a decent brand. I and mean, then, I watercolors, I need better brushes. Yeah, and then this one. This is Royal and Nan Nickel. Um, and it's, it's a pink one. I, I love them because they were pink. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so that's Royal and Nan Nickel as well. Um, and then recently, I managed to buy an um, open stock, funny enough, this one. Um, and this is the Zen by Royal and Nan Nickel. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the text there, but uh, it's Royal and Nan Nickel Zen, Zen brush. And it comes to a really fine point, which is about really useful. Um, and then this came in with the paints, with the acrylic paints. It's an Aldi's. Uh, art set so they're very good actually um if anybody goes to aldi's have a look sometimes they do really good deals on crafty um okay. well, i don't have no aldi's around here but i know a bunch of other, other people have aldi's all over but not where i live 
Yeah. Uh, this one is a very posh one. This is what I call a posh brush. <laughs> this is Princeton Neptune. Um, very, very nice. Um, yeah. they, they can be very expensive, but uh, I think I got this in a pack and I got it very reasonable price. Um, do -do -do -do. Mm. And this is another Princeton one. This is Princeton Neptune. Mm -hmm. Um, like this one. And this one, this one is Windsor Newton Foundation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we have a comment from Ian. Oh, okay. Right. Any, he says, I'm more thinking about control. He's, he's, Oh, he's more thinking about controlling flat, transparent washes. He goes, it's a lot easier to do with watercolor than acrylics. And I would disagree with that. No, uh, well, I, would I, agree that, uh, I would disagree that doing washes and watercolors is easier than acrylics. Maybe for you, mm -hmm. maybe it's a personal thing. I don't know because I haven't been, I haven't been painting that long to sort of, you know, make a comment on it. But hopefully I will. I will know these answers before long. Oh, a comment from Bud for Gracie. What was that? Oops, not, no, sorry. The comment was, oh, see, uh, sorry, the comment was for JCT. She's, ma she's making, she's hand making her own Mother's Day card for her mother. Oh, I love making cards. Isn't that nice? That's so lovely. Oh, that's nice, JCT. And handmade cards are really special because she took time to actually do it, if you know what I mean. I mean, yeah. you, you can go out and buy a card, but I think a handmade one is really nice. I'm just having a sip of water. Healthy. <laughs> I'm covered in paint, Mr. Jackson. Look at me, covered in paint. <laughs> now then, I think a bit wet. I'm gonna have to dry this again, guys, sorry. Oh, and the paper, Ian. Um, is the German paper that I can't pronounce. Heinemann? He Hein? No. Uh, it's the German band. All right. So it's hard to say. Is it Heinemann? I never know how to say it. I never. I don't know because I've never even heard what type of paper. I'm. I'm not familiar with that type of. That's okay. No, I don't think I, I. don't think I've ever even been familiar with that type of paper. No. Um, it was Ian who told me. I'd never heard of it until uh, Mr. Jackson recommended that paper. It's very good. Very good paper. Thank you for everybody who's in, in the house. Thank you. Shout out to the 14, 14 wonderful people in the house. Awesome. With 12 thumbs up. Oh, please give a thumbs up if you forgot because I'm trying to get it to 20 thumbs up today. Yay. So I'm going to, I think I'll start on the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, can you, uh, Gracie, can you still hear when you're doing that? I'm done. Now you go. Hold on. <laughs> um, Chrissy says, never use a hot heat on the acrylics. When drying, use a cool heat only. Oh, now you see. I didn't know that. I, I actually, I'm not, no, I, I don't think I knew that either. All right, well, that's good to know. I'll remember that now. <laughs> that's the thing, you know, you don't know unless you, you know, try, try, try. I just kind of, I stumble my way through, really. Um, but, well, 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 don't, you're not alone. Well, thank you. <laughs> like it's, some people, maybe they learn things like really systematically and it's step by step and really logical. I don't know. Other people, they learn different. Yeah, that's true. Some people learn quicker. Um, yeah, that's true too. Yeah, I'm looking at dab on some impressionistic flowers. 
Actually, I think I actually got um, a thing in jig to do this. I ordered some new uh, sponges, artist sponges, because um, I, I wouldn't mind having a go with them. I think they'd be really useful. Do you use artist sponges or artist sponges? Yeah, the, one well, I, the only kind of sponge I use would be a sea sponge for like like for creating fo foliage. That's it. Yeah, or maybe water spray. I might even use that for the water water yeah. spray. I've never tried that, but I probably would use that for water spray. I've only I've just only used a sea sponge that I have. Ah, I bought a pack. Um, it wasn't expensive. It was quite relatively cheap. I'm just going in with my little. My little handy bit of, there you go. Just kind of dabbing on some. They kind of look like those Japanese flowers that they have. I think it might even be in Japan, the actual painting. Where is my smaller brush from? Here we go. Anybody else got any new art projects? Okay, she's asking the chat, does anybody else have new art projects? I'm still working on my 365 day art challenge, mm -hmm. art focus art challenge, and I give I give weekly updates on that. Every Monday, weekly updates. I might skip next Monday, so sometimes I give by um, a two week update. So people could check out my video. I'm not gonna talk about it. They can check out my video if they want to know how that's going. Oh, I'm going to audition for um Art Addicts Alliance. Oh, cool. So I found about I found out about it through an artist friend and it's a small group, maybe and but they're trying to grow. And you do yeah. and they're all YouTube artists and it's and, and the third Friday of the month you um you have to do the theme that they're doing and create a uh, create artwork on your you know process video creating your artwork according to that um theme for the month on the third friday and so i'm, I'm looking forward to that yeah actually i finished my video already uh, way ahead of time two weeks ahead of time oh that's good well because we had this other art challenge coming up with uh dina i got, oh, I got my yeah. video ready, so. yeah uh, okay. okay i'll check the chat um I need to get on with that actually. I'll check the chat and see what other people are doing. Hold on, I'm 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 typing a comment. I'm typing a comment too. Okay. Well, there we go. That's that done. Do 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 do. Always have more later. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I'll do. Is that dry now? I just keep referring to my original one. All right, let me tell you what people are doing. Yep. You right. ask what, what pro art projects they're doing. Yep. Ian says he is. Well, he says he has his growing garden video to finish. Oh uh, yeah, to finish his. That's for, that's for Dina's challenge due this Friday. Cool. So let's see. Oh, Norgis says she's trying to make. A corset from old purses. Oh, that's so creative. Oh, wow. That's so creative and unique. Yeah. And yeah. let's see. Uh, One Mighty R says, yep, I'm learning to color better. And he's so focused. Ah. Okay. Uh, JCT saying she's just going to be doing her Mother's Day card. Yeah. Good idea. And uh, Chrissy has a comment. She says, yes, you can use the sponge or a fan brush and you can get really great effects. Yeah. Oh, hello, eating with Mrs. P. Hello, uh, Mrs. P, eating with Ms. P. Hello, welcome, welcome. I'm just trying to remember which brush I use for the... Uh, for the waterfall. I think it was an angle brush I used. Which is this one by Lloyd and Nan Nickel. I might just do that a little bit. 
I'm glad, um, I'm mm. glad you guys can see everything, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go into my titanium white. Here's the next one, which is just here. It's a bit of a um, dry brush, this too, dry brush technique. I'm reading the comments. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. Sorry. Okay, hold on. Ian says, look forward to seeing it completed. Okay, eating with Miss P. Ms. P, do you um do you do any kind of arts or crafts? Or are you an art lover eating with Miss P? Now I am covered in paint. <laughs> I'm covered in paint. <laughs> How's the audio? Is the audio still okay? Yes, your audio is good. Yeah. Just getting some more white paint. Oh, Chrissy has a comment. Okay. She says that good advice is to um write write down or take a screen or take it or take a photo of your brushes that way you'll remember i don't know you'll remember ah what, yeah. what you used for that painting or something i don't know that's a good idea yeah yeah that's probably what i should do i knew it was an angle because you need it to get that kind of it's not easy doing a waterfall because they're very sort of, they're almost transparent um, in appearance. So it's, it, it, it's, it's kind of tricky. But uh, there you go, you see. I was struggling last week with the watercolour. I couldn't get it to do this or anything. It was really tough to, yeah. to get that white. Yes, it's much easier with acrylic. And I'm just kind of just going up and down, just kind of, you know, not much paint on my paintbrush, just kind of. And you don't want to overdo it. That's another thing. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to overdo it. <laughs> Oh, hello, Be The Difference Clothing, and her name is Joy. Hello there. We've got quite a lot in chat, haven't we? She is a very motivational channel. Oh, good. She, she's actually written uh, motivational books that she sells. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we could all do with that right now. <laughs> a bit of positive. positive. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know. Uh, Chrissy has a suggestion, and I'm not sure what she's talking about. Try, oh yeah, she's talking about a fan brush. Try a fan brush for the water with the waterfall. It gives a great effect. I will give that a go. I was a bit, um, I was a little bit, um, what's the word? Because I, you know, because I'm new to this, mm. it's kind of. Uh, <laughs> So she has a tutorial. You could probably uh, search for it on her channel. She does have a tutorial using fan brushes. Yeah, I'll have to watch that again. That's that's a good thing about YouTube is you can watch it anytime. Oh, that's, oh, that's like like that's a, like one of almost the best thing about YouTube. Yeah, you can always learn. And I'm just dabbing it in, dabbing it in. And it's Roy Dynamical Crafter's Choice. That one. Let's see if I'm. Um, Hello, Lori's Crochet Corner. Hello. Peter Gray. How is the guy who has it? 
The narcos come to his house. Remember you said he was going to drop. Hold on. Remember you said he was going to drop YouTube channel. Oh, be the difference. I'm gonna I talk to you about that personally. And I'll I'll instant I'll direct message you on Instagram. Because I'm not sure what you're talking about. If because the thing that I think you're talking about that happened months ago. If that's what you're talking about, it's nothing that like nothing like that has happened recently. So, but um, I'll direct message you on Instagram on um, Joy. I'm just twisting this bit of sponge with white to titanium white. And I'm just oh, let's see what's what's Bud have to say. He says hello, Lori. Good to see you. Hello, Bud. Hello, Lori. Yes, it was okay. Be, uh, Joy, I have to direct message you about that. Oh, 17 thumbs up. Oh, my goodness. We're going to get it to 20. Thank yes. you guys. 17 yeah. thumbs up. I'm trying to get it to 20 thumbs up. Awesome. That was a good idea, Chrissy, for the fan. Thank you. Did you use it for the splashing water? No, I used a sponge. And all you do is you dip it in a little bit of water into your titanium white and then you just do sort of twisty twisty shapes oh, with your hands. Okay. and then it, and then it does that that's basically what i did with the foot with the with this one so yeah yep yeah, there you go so you just dip your sponge in the paint and you do these kind of twisting kind of markings there you go. Now it's looking like a water bottle. Mm -hmm. Might actually splatter on a bit of white as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, she became a member. She became a member. Oh, light show, light show. Oh, oh that's she nice. A member of my. This is a crazy name, but she became a member of my artsy fartsy vibe tribe. <laughs> and she's she, she got uh, joined at the first level at the artsy fartsy friends. And um, um, go ahead and drop your link. Drop your link, uh, JCT. Go ahead. I give you a shout out and drop your link. Uh, her, the shout out for her is that she is a very much a, a, a cooking and nature channel. And well, she does do arts, um, crafts, and which are based on nature crafts. I mean, American, American wow. native crafts. And wow. she does do some of that. But I I think she's trying to build up those videos and most of her videos are really about the lake that she lives near and a lot of sunset sunrise videos and um, cooking videos. Oh. Thank you so much, JCT. Thank you, JCT. Now, you haven't, se you haven't yeah. seen me complain yet, have you, about my painting? <laughs> I haven't said, oh God, my painting sucks. I haven't said that yet. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, JCT. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's it, Diana. Keep twerking. <laughs> I, I'm twerk the upper body. That's not really what twerking is, but oh, that was that was fun. That live stream. This is my happy dance. Oh no, happy dance, and I'm. I can't, the camera will not show my whole body. It only shows me in sections from here to here. And then if I stand up, it shows um, my middle section. And if I stand on the chair, it'll show my feet. Happy dance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I promise that for the membership that they do get a happy dance. Oh, uh, that's nice. <laughs> oh God. Sorry for the interruption. Hey, there's no uh, there's no Paul or Ian on the uh, on panel. 
Enthusiast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She didn't just join at the end. She didn't even just, she didn't just join at the first level. She joined at, I believe it's, um, I forget if that's the, the second or third level of membership. So uh, that it's huge. Thank you. Thank you. A huge thank you to JCT. Huge Hi. thank you. I have to say, Diana, I do like acrylics. I know you should do more. I know. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I was really struggling with this last week. I just couldn't get the watercolor. You were struggling with the watercolor. Yeah, and it was it was the white and and the white that I used last week was white gouache even, which is you know supposedly more opaque than uh, regular watercolor white but look at uh, you can see it now and it is actually looking like a you know like you want it to look just gonna tap that off a bit there you go where is my fan brush People are talking about twerking, twerking. Hey, for real twerking, I do not have the anatomy for it. <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. No, it requires... <laughs> I'm not going to say. <laughs> don't say it, Diana, don't say it. Hey, you're monetized, you know. <laughs> well, it, it wouldn't... Actually, I was just thinking, I was thinking maybe Bye, JCT. she has to go get her dinner. Bye, JCT. Have a nice dinner. What is she having? She a nice painting, Gracie. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Have a good dinner. Yeah. What are you having? Oh, I don't know if she's going to have time. Well, Gracie's asking what you have having for dinner if you have time to uh, to answer. And MVP Nail Designs is new in here. And she is the wife of One Mighty R who's in here. One oh. Mighty R is a comic illustration. He's a comic illustrator. He creates his own. He creates many of his own comic illustrations. And oh, wow. um, MVP Nail Designs, they live in a neighboring state to me. They're actually... A neighboring state to mine and um where i live and mvp nail designs does uh, really a, a, a wide range of all kinds of nail designs nail art oh awesome that sounds cool welcome welcome mvp and nail designs yeah welcome guys yeah is everybody still in lockdown? I assume everybody's still in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where you? Is everybody what? Lock in, in lockdown. Oh, I thought you said mukbang. <laughs> no. <laughs> did you say that, or did I just hear hear the wrong thing? I think you misheard it, Diana. <laughs> I definitely did say I it. I totally misheard it. Um, oh my goodness. I'm trying to be a good girl, Diana. <laughs> no, mukbangs aren't bad. Well, I know. No, no. That's, it's a Korean word for eating on film, eating on video. Oh. It, that's what it is. It's a Korean word for, and sometimes it means eating. Some, some people make make it be like they eat a lot, but it doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it has to mean you have to eat a lot. It just means mukbang means that you're eating on video. Oh. Uh. I did wonder. <laughs> oh, and MVP Nail Design says, wow, that painting looks beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I was thinking it's been three months. Stay at home. Oh, Jason T says she's been thinking it's been three months. Stay at home. Stay at home curfew. I think it's almost been three months. Wait a minute. April. No, two months. I'm sorry. It's been two months. Two months here, almost two months here. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably about right, actually. Yeah, I'd say it was that, that long. It seems like it anyway, <laughs> even if it hasn't. Uh, 
I was going there for my pink. Because ours one. started, I remember exact date, ours started on March 13th. Ah, okay. Really? Oh, my goodness. Yep. They shut down, they, they locked down Mar County first in the whole state. In the whole state that has like 40 counties or more, could be 40 counties or more. Out of all those 40 counties or more, they locked down our county first because they said our county had the highest, highest rate. Like only there was only 22 cases in the whole state back on back on March 13th, only 22 cases in the whole state. And 13 of them were in my county. Oh, wow. Now there's just thousands of cases. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Okay. Hello, Grayscale Painting. Hello, Grayscale Painting. And he says, he's making a joke. He says, Gracie is known for tweaking while eating. Uh, I hope you mean twerking. Twerking while eating <laughs> Jaffa cakes. Because the other word, the other word is a drug kind of word. Uh, and okay. <laughs> Welcome, Queesian Comic Art. Welcome, guys. Thank you for popping in. Queesian Comic Art makes um animations. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm just putting in, like, some rocks, just to, you know, an impression of being rocks in, the, in this upper part of the painting. Oh, it's looking so beautiful. Oh, thank you. It's nice to have a good painted day, isn't it, Diana? <laughs> I'm. This is wonderful Wednesday for me. I got twenty. Yeah, we got twenty thumbs up. Twenty thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you guys. So, uh, let's just see if we go over that. I was only trying to get twenty thumbs up. If we get more than twenty, that that is icing on the cake. Yeah. So, awesome. Awesome. And shout out to the 16 wonderful people in the, in the house. I don't know if you guys can see this, but on the top of the waterfall, just, just there, is some, like, oh, more, more people pouring in. <laughs> Hello, Diana, Brianne, Fairchild. Hello. Hello. She has daily inspirational videos. Cool. Oh, do you know... I found, <laughs> do you know what I use for uh, keeping pencils and uh, things like pencils, paint brushes? Sometimes I save them in mugs, look, and I use my Picaric one mug. <laughs> I use it to keep my brushes. This is awesome. That's a good use for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I haven't really had a drink out of it as such yet, but I can use it for like, uh, like storing, like pencils. Right. And, and this one, I saved these. These are from Aldi's, and it's coffee. It's my dad has coffee. Um, I don't know a lot about coffee because I'm more of a tea drinker, but um, it's apparently it's really, really nice. So I wash them out in, in the dishwasher, and then I stick all my brush, uh, all my brushes in there. Uh, all jar. Diana Brianne Fairchild. She she just said how gifted and talented. And she and then she said at me and no that's not me painting I'm not painting right now. See <laughs> uh, Diana Brianne, it's not me painting. She's my guest artist. On um, this is Gracie Shack, my guest artist who's painting right now. Hello, thank you very much. Much appreciated. And thank, you for sharing, thank you for sharing this out, um, Diana Brianne. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's uh, really helps sharing. Yeah. Certainly does. Are you going to do any merchandise, Diana? Well, my merchandise is my Etsy shop. Oh, oh. The only other, you know what? Like merchandise is like what? T-shirts, mugs, and I just feel like, okay, maybe I could get my art. I like. I would like art. I have to. I would like. To, I have some art inspirational quotes, and I would. The thing that I would like to put on if I, now that I'm thinking about it, on T-shirts or mugs would be art inspirational quotes, along with kind of being along with maybe my art, my some of my art printed on the T-shirt or mug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I would, I would like art inspirational quotes to be on it too. Yeah, yeah, I like those too. Yeah. I have to, that's, yeah, that's something to look into. Yeah. 
why not? <laughs> One of the hardest things I ever had to do on YouTube, apart from painting on panel, <laughs> the other thing I really struggled with was my art banner because it has to be a certain size. Yes. It's like really thin and, and quite short on the sides. I, I was still struggling. I mean, I have done a banner, but it just I, I just can't get it to adjust in the... And and then you know it's a bit fiddly, isn't it? It's a bit what? A bit fiddly, difficult, tricky. Yeah, I, I found that really tricky doing the uh, doing the banner. I did too, and I did too. Um, because you had to get the things right in the middle. Yeah, I mean, getting yeah. the size was fine. I got the size fine and stuff. But getting all the imagery to fit right in this little middle space, that was so, so tricky. I did it over and over and over. And I have created many of my own banners, but finally the banner that the banner I'm using right now is professionally designed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Quesian Art says, Quesian Comic Art says, you're going to be right back. I hope, okay, come back soon. Okay. And uh, be the difference. And uh, be the difference has a question. She says, What's the what's that top supposed to be up there? Is that like rocks at the top? No, That's flowering yeah. bushes, right? Or yeah, anything like that. I think it, I think it's probably more like rocks, but I'm just giving it an impression that it's there. I'm not going in for huge detail. I just right. want, you know like a block of color because I've got a lot going on here. So right. you know that's, well, that's a smart choice. That's a good idea to just yeah don't, don't put a yeah. lot of detail on the rocks. No. No, because this is really the focal point, the water and the uh, and the waterfall. So that this part here is just like impressionistic, uh just suggesting that there's some rocks or bushes or you know, whatever. Yeah. Good question though. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have a joke from Ian. Yeah. He says, this live is not sponsored by Pick a Rick or Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not going to get sponsored by Jaffa Cakes, Ian. <laughs> and, oh, thank you, MVP Nail Design. She thought, I think she was saying that's a good idea. She's telling me that's a good idea for the idea I have for merch or something. If yeah. that's what you're talking about, thank you, MVP Nail Designs. I'm actually on water. I would normally have, um, what would I normally have? Uh, Bud, uh, how's Jose? Do you know, does Bud have a, a, a pet named Jose? He does, and it's a really cute little doggy. Um, it's a chihuahua. Oh. Yeah. Very pretty little dogs, chihuahuas, aren't they? Kind mm. of. Oh, <laughs> Diana's got two, you've got two kitties, haven't you? Yeah, two twin kitty girls. Aww. They are they are a handful, each with their own distinct personality traits. Oh, I know, yeah. So we are dealing with some distinct personalities. They are, they, they have their own personalities. <laughs> I agree, yeah. Which I'm, I'm sure like a lot of pets do, right? Well, my two guinea pigs, you could get more more different than if you tried. Hmm. Uh, the little guinea pig, that's he's really fast. He, he's the quickest little uh, runner that you've ever seen. And he's tiny. He's a very, I think he was the run to the litter because he's so small for being a guinea pig. Um, and Marmalade, the bigger piggy, he's bigger. And, he, and he's really cuddly. He loves to be like, he loves to go on my lap and, and I can, you know, like, stroke him and he purrs and he, it's, it's like a little cat because when they're happy they purr and it's so cute and, oh, and, 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 never, and you told me that a while ago and i never knew that they purred yeah they do yeah and they and sometimes when they get really excited they start bouncing which is like really cute because it because they squeak after they bounce they go squeak like that it's just so adorable they're very funny they're funny little critters and uh, and JCT saying yes, Diana. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, what you're saying, yes, Diana, because of why? Sorry. And um, that's not really. Why is Ian just saying the word vodka? 
Oh, Oh, I wouldn't know. Guys, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just saying I don't like vodka. <laughs> I love vodka. I don't like vodka by itself, but I like vodka cocktails. And Goswina says that her chihuahua is like a pit bull. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Some some small dogs can be quite what we call snappy. They can be quite, um, you know. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I, that's the kind of memory I have of little dog yeah. like that which i'm i probably are totally mixing up the breeds i don't know yeah hello yeah. brox yes a new friend may brox well Hi. welcome welcome hello may hello may welcome well do you know i've gone how long have we been doing this now okay. I have i'll let you know it's 55 minutes well i'll tell you what i haven't once said oh i don't like this painting diana <laughs> Well, did, have you said that before on live streams? Well, I, well, when I did my watercolor ones for the last three weeks, every single painting just flopped. So um, I don't know you say you were so happy with them. Maybe well, I'm remembering wrong. Maybe I was in denial. <laughs> denial. Maybe I was in uh Yeah, you know. Oh, uh, I don't know. I think we are our own worst critics as artists. I think we, uh, I think we give ourselves a hard time. Well, you can learn not to do that. Yes, I, I, I need to work on that. <laughs> Look, uh, Bud says Jose is the <coughs> calmest Chihuahua he has ever seen. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Then. Oh, they are a cute little dog. How much does he weigh, uh, Bud? Mm -hmm. how, how much does his doggy weigh? Because they're very small, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yes, how much does your dog weigh? And um, thought Be the Difference Clothing, Joyce said she thought what you said was funny. All right. <laughs> oh, God, you thought it was funny. <laughs> and if you have your reference picture, mm -hmm. um, always have it with you when you're painting and keep referring back to the reference photo because that helps you visualize everything where you want everything to go mm. you know what i mean so you, if you keep looking at your um at your reference picture that's a really good idea just a little tip a little tip okay so Ian knows may better than i do and he says please welcome may a great artist hello may Oh, okay, May. I got to check out your channel more. Yeah, could somebody put her channel in the in the in the chat, and then we can find it after. Or and then if um, yeah, and then she, and then okay, hold on. and then you can find it afterwards. You mean? Yeah, I wish they didn't take away that thing in the chat where you could. I know they took oh. that away. It makes it hard. So. All right. That was so easy to, to just find, you know, find whatever, whatever YouTube you wanted to go on. Um, might have gone a little bit overboard with this, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, about here's a question. What am I painting next week? Any ideas? Oh, so you want, you want to vote? Please. Well, what are the choices? Do you have to give us like at least three choices? Um, we could do, I have an idea in mind. Uh, we could do this dolphin, um, because this is one of my better paintings. Um, but I can, um, but I, here we go. Should we vote for the dolphin or um, a river or um, a beach scene? So dolphin, Beach scene, and what was the other one I said? River. River, yeah. Because I'm getting better now with my rivers and, and my water, so. So are you um, going to do it in acrylics? That's my vote. You have to do it in acrylics. Okay, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Because I've done week after week with watercolor, so it's nice yeah, to start. time to start doing acrylics. Since, yeah. since you're getting such good results from them. I mean, look at that one. I, I really, I, I like the white border, too. That takes practice, just doing the white borders. <laughs> wow. Well, you kind of picked that up fast. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> so that's a vote for the chat. Do they, you do, okay, what is the river? Do, should she paint a river next week? A, be, a beach scene? Is that what you said? That's it, yeah, yeah. A beach uh, scene or what? What's the third uh, one? What was the other one I said? Uh, river, uh, boats, uh, ocean. I think it was a, uh, did I say? Hold on, let me think about this. Uh, don't have a mental block now. <laughs> Who remembers? I I bet Ian oh. remembers. What did she say? What are the things? We said dolphin river. That's it. Dolphin river or beach queen. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> oh dear. It's funny how your mind goes back sometimes. <laughs> dolphin river or beach scene. Okay, we're this this boat is out to the chat. Dolphin yeah. for next week for her to paint a dolphin river or beach scene. And there's a picture of the dolphin. Okay, we have one vote for beach scene. Oh, let me scroll up. Maybe there's more other votes. Thank you, guys. Oh, Ian. Ian says he he says a car. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can. No, a car is very difficult. It's very, it's a very good suggestion, but I, I don't think, I think I'd struggle with that one. Oh, we got somebody new in here. I mean, he hasn't been around in a while. Hello, Roy's the boy. I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, Hello. welcome, Roy's the boy. Hello, Matt. Hello, hello. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I'd struggle with a car, to be honest. Okay, one, two, three, four votes for beach. Yay, that's a good idea. Oh, five, five votes for beach scene. Yay, okay, that's good. It looks like, um, okay, what about a lake scene? Oh, that could be for, uh, Roy's the boy says, what about a lake scene? Sorry, that's that could be for another week. If you come back, if you come back and remind us, come back to, it's one o'clock. Every Wednesday, Roy's the boy. Uh, look at my about section. It's one o'clock every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Wednesday, we have guest artist Gracie Shack, and she will <laughs> most of the time, she's always going to put a, a, a vote out to the chat for what her next week she, that she should paint. So if you want to, you want to, um, Put that up for the vote for next for next um, next week, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for voting, guys. Bud votes for okay. Another vote for beach scene. Yeah, another beach, 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 beach. Even if I voted, it, which I I could go either way. So, okay, the vote is almost it's unanimous. Beach, beach scene. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. That's good. It's good to know what I've got. You know what I've got in mind to paint. Okay, I believe boys. Yeah. The Boys the Boy is also from the UK, and he's asking, yes, Gracie is living in the UK. So is Ian Jackson in the chat. He's in blue. He's also living in the UK. And in blue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think Nightbot is from the UK. Really? <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't know. I haven't, no, I haven't made any Nightbot jokes lately. <laughs> Not likely. Oh well, never mind. And in case you this thing, Nightbot, we all like you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <clears throat> oh, fiddlesticks! I've just gone and spilt on it. Wow, twenty-one thumbs up! Awesome. Thank you, guys. I can let's see if can get it just icing on the cake get it to 25 thumbs up that would be pretty cool thank you for voting in the chat everybody I, I, I do appreciate it it helps you choose doesn't it because i just find it so kind of uh I never well, know. You want to know what people want, right? And you want to yeah. know what the viewers want. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know what the viewers want. Really, that's the best practice. That's best. That's part of best practice in YouTube. You yeah. want to know. You need to. You need to gear your videos to what the video. What the what the viewers want. 
exactly yeah yeah i think that's one of the biggest lessons as a youtuber you can learn oh God, yes yeah. one mighty r says excellent work gracie thank you very much and roy the boy wants to know where in the uk are you i am from a i'm from the countryside um smallsville <laughs> I'm, in, uh, I'm in i'm in shropshire um I, it's it's got I a that yeah it's kind of uh, it's near wales kind of thing on the border of wales um so yeah okay it's very much like ireland it's very green um there's lots of pubs <laughs> Yeah, it's very similar uh, sometimes to, yeah. Okay, Roy's the boy. He's confused. Who's that painting? Okay, it's my Roy's the, Roy. It's my guest artist, Gracie Shack. She's my guest artist every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You, you can remind yourself by looking at my about section and my schedule. And 1 p.m. every Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time, we have my guest artist, Gracie Shack. Um, who usually paints in watercolor, but just discovered that she loves acrylic painting. And for the next few weeks, she's going to probably be painting in acrylics. And don't worry, Ian, I will always be a watercolor fan. Oh, yeah. I'm not giving up watercolor. <laughs> no. Oh, actually, um, have you ever tried acrylic markers? Yeah. Well, yes, I only, I only use white white so far i i would like to try a set of them but as of as it is yeah i have filled almost my whole case of i have an arteza marker marker oh. um, care marker carrier thing a storage carrier oh, and yeah. i have i'm filled i think i must have 165 markers in there oh wow so I am not buying any more markers, even though I, I I would like to try acrylic paint markers. But I just I can't I'm not buy I'm not buying any more. Markers. Yeah, I know. I, know I don't. That. But yes, and I do. I, the only acrylic paint markers I have are in white, the Posca Posca white, because oh, I need a good that. white marker for things. I've heard of that. And stuff. Yeah, I heard of that. Um, yeah, I know. I know. When you want to draw something on a canvas, do you use chalk to to sort of sketch a basic idea of what you know what like the outlines? Do you okay, are you talking about on on just on on paper canvas? Uh, are, you, are you painting on? Are you going to be painting on paper for the next few weeks? Probably, yeah. And then well, I might say, no. Uh, let's see. There's different ways to do it. You could you could use chalk, but see if you use chalk that's yellow on white, and for me, my vision, I find that very hard to see yellow on white. And oh, yeah. what, what's the other colors of chalk? Would they would be kind of like gray or something? Um, I would draw lightly with pencil. Oh, okay. And then lightly, you, you don't want to draw dark because then it's hard to erase and all that. Isn't it funny when you? The only time you want to use chalk is if it's on a black canvas or black paper. Ah, right. Then you want to use chalk. Right. Okay, that's cool. See, I didn't know that. There you yeah. go. Yep. And Diana, she, you were an art school teacher, weren't you? Was that your? Yeah, public school. Public school. Yeah. Public's not no. I I do actually have the masters in fine arts, which I am qualified to teach college, but I have never taught college. But I am qualified. I have the credentials to teach college, but um, I used, but um, I I also have the cert teacher certification to. I taught for twenty five years in the same school district for twenty five years. Um, yes, I was an art educator. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah. At the elementary school level. No, that's good. That's a, that's a nice level, isn't it? I, 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 that's what I started in. And there are times, and then we, there was never any openings I could get into the high school. Um, uh, even yeah. Because people were saying it was like art teacher heaven. If you taught in high school, they were calling it art teacher heaven, but there was barely any, there was <laughs> any ever openings in, in the first, and somebody else would take it before you ever knew about it. So, oh, yeah. but I don't want because I am short. I am short. 
I'm like, I would have such a complex about being shorter than all these big giant teenagers. Oh, I hear you on that one. And I just not like that. So in elementary school, I'm taller than all the kids, except for the fifth graders, the fourth, <laughs> the fourth and fifth graders. They start, some of them are short and some of them started getting like taller than me. I have that problem. Yeah. I'm only, um, I'm about five foot three inches. So I'm shorter than you. I'm so, five foot three in shoes. Oh, my, my, my mum, my wonderful mum, uh, she's five foot. <laughs> so, so she, oh, actually, mm -hmm. all of my family are pretty short, but we're not tall by any stretch of them. And my nephew, he, he's, he's getting a lot taller now, now that he's growing. Um, and he's up to about my, my, up to my chin in height now, or maybe yeah. height. It, it's getting, they kind of grow up so fast, don't they? I, uh, oh, actually, my stepson, he did not grow fast. Yeah. There was a while there that we thought, oh, no, is he, because his mother's short, his mother's short, but my husband is, um, my husband is, like, five, was, was five foot eleven, so, oh, you know, and then there's, and then his father was tall, and his brother was tall, so, my father was just medium height, and then we didn't know. Like, was he? Did, is he going to be like on his mother, like his mother's side of the family? Or I don't know if they were all short or not, but she was. She was short, and like for the longest time, like because I knew fifth graders that were really tall, and he was in fifth grade, and he was still short. And like, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, when's is he going to get a growth spurt? And eventually, he did, and now he's a little bit taller than his dad. <laughs> That's nice. He finally got a growth spurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, but they all vary. So, like, you know. I never got the growth spurt. I started, I stopped growing when I was um twelve years old. Uh I stopped growing when I was fourteen. <laughs> of the same so I was thirteen. I was probably twelve or thirteen and then I never had any kind of growth spurt. No, I don't know. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> right. Well. Oh, well, wait, maybe we're too off topic. Sorry, everybody, if we got too off topic there. <laughs> Sorry, going. I'm just going to blast this dry for a few seconds. That's how many people in the room. Oh, no, we've still got 16 wonderful people in the house. Thank you, guys. I'll just put this on for a second just to help dry it up. And then I'm just going to do the flowers again a little bit just to get a little bit more pinker and a bit more contrast. And then I think I'm done it when I've done the... Uh... It's funny, isn't it? These waterfalls are bigger than the ones that I did on, this, on the other one. <laughs> they, they were quite thin waterfalls. <laughs> oh, no. Ian, Ian saying, Ian saying something that's kind of funny. <laughs> Kind of funny. <laughs> he said, Ian said, some of the scariest teachers we had were little women. They were mini dragons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. I knew scarier teachers than me. Like in my among my colleagues, I'm talking about as a as a teacher. I knew some very I knew some pretty scary teachers that were <laughs> Woo! A one of them was a friend of mine, and she was like a pit bull as a teacher. Oh my goodness! And she taught first grade, so she really had to like she had to really like clamp down hard on those kids. And she did. And I cannot believe some of the techniques and strategies she used. I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Which I God. never did. I would, I, I could never, I could never use those techniques and strategies with her. So compared to her, I was not a scary teacher. I mean, are you kidding? No. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Life is funny at times. I'm just going to blast it very quickly. Rosie boy said, "How tall am I? I'm, I'm five foot one. Uh -huh. I'm five foot one inches. I know you guys are." <laughs> Sorry, you guys are using other forms of measurement. And then Roy's the boy says that his his ex wife was also was also little and was like a pit bull. Hey hey uh, hey! Don't 
Now, don't say, don't think that all little women are yeah. like, are like dragons and pit bulls. Yeah, because me and Diana are short. You're giving us a bad name, bad rap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot with that hair dryer. Oh, you have to watch it. Remember, and, well, the one thing I told Christy, I'd never had that experience of blistering or crack, cracking. She just says you don't, um, you just don't want to hold it over one place and just keep holding it over, holding it oh, over. It mean, will cause, cause. You need to just keep it moving, keep it moving. Ah, uh, like that kind of moving it all. And like keep it up from a distance. Don't hold it too close. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, I shall write that one down because I'll, I'll forget that if I don't write it down. Let me see. Um, yeah, not all short, not all short women are, are dragons, chaps. Oh god! Hey, hey, come on! They come in all sizes and shapes. Thank you, Diana. And be the difference is laughing. Hey, um, one of my favorite actors, uh, Al Pacino. He's, I think, he's five foot five or five foot six. And that didn't stop him from, uh, you know, he, I mean, do you know what I mean? He always played the, uh, but then again, he's an actor, so. Yeah. But, you know, he's short, you know, I mean, you are, you know, you are what you are. You so know. Ian says his, his wife is like a little ninja at five foot. Oh. And yeah. Mr. Pentagon says she can be a dragon if you hit the wrong button. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all can miss it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree with well, you. Well, I think that's that's true for me, probably. Mm, I think we all I think we can all be a dragon to a certain degree. Um, but I mean I try not to be. <laughs> oh, Roy's the boy says he loves short women. Oh well thank you. <laughs> Oh, do you know what Iron Dog's latest line is? Uh, he used to say uh, to everybody, oh, you're looking lovely as ever. Uh, now he says, uh, you're looking well above average. <laughs> oh, well saying, above average. Yeah, that's his new one. And he says to everybody who comes in to chat, you're looking well above average today. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, I just, I just think it's funny. <laughs> he makes me laugh. Oh, let's see. May Brock says, don't say small women aren't dragons. Um, oh, FC, we are, we are dragons. It's the only thing we have to get some respect. Yes. Yeah. She, well, yeah, she has a point. Yeah. You, you talk to the point. Yeah. We, yeah. We have to, we have to sort of like make up for. <laughs> make up for what we don't have in height <laughs> like this, uh, yeah. but you know i mean as a woman i don't think I, I don't know but i can never see myself being tall you know you get what you get i wanted to be tall oh my goodness when i was growing up i'm like i wish i was so tall for the longest time even when, even as an adult i'd be i wish i was tall or yeah. taller yeah and then i have not thought about that in a long while so no, nah, I know what you mean. I've been married, like, well, I don't know. So I've been married nine years. About it'll be nine years in June, and oh, wow. I, have not wished, I have not wished being taller since um I've been married. I think when I was dating, I, I don't know when I was dating and before then. I don't know. How, how tall is your husband? How tall? How did you see tall? He's five foot ten now. Oh wow, that's cool. That, that's pretty tall. I think the tallest my family get up to, and this is only the men, um, all of my family that are men, members of my family, about five foot eight. And that's kind of, I would say that was maybe average height in England. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And my uncle, my, my uncle David, um, he he's short. Uh, I, have, I think he's about my height, quite possibly. I think. He's very short. Now, so, Nor Norgus is Norgus's family's tall. I believe Norgus is tall herself. She's not saying, but 
her daughter's six foot one and her son is six foot three. Wow. Well, wow. I used to date tall guys though. Oh my goodness. Even though I'm short, I really kind of didn't like short guys. <laughs> and I, I and all, most all my past boyfriends have been six feet, six wow. foot one, six feet, six foot one. Yeah. Well, my husband, he said, well, he used to be five eleven, and now because of age, he's drank. He's five foot ten. <laughs> he's tall enough for me. That's tall enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hello, oh, Kylie oh. Koo. Kylie Koo is joining us. Hello there. Oh, she's going to eat dinner, but I'll be listening. Oh, okay, my God. thank you. She thank popped you. in and she says she'll be listening. Thank you. Thank. Um, we appreciate all the listeners too. Covered in paint again. There's a surprise. Uh, I have an acrylic painting question. Is acrylic easy to get off clothes? If you like, if, if no, it's not. Oh, all right. If, if, if the only way you can get acrylic out of your clothes is if you if it's wet and you can wash it out while it's still wet. Once it dries, it's pretty permanent unless you can scrape it off. Ah, okay. So you should be wearing a painting apron. I know. <laughs> oh, I remember that next week. <laughs> oh dear. Well, yeah, anybody, if you just joined us, she is not. This is like she's just been painting with acrylic paints for like seven to ten days. She's been painting for the past five years in watercolors, and she's really loving the results in acrylic painting. And this one is the original painting that I did. There you go, just so the people that have just joined us can see the painting first off. And the um, Comic Art is still here. Thank you. And thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, I think I'm done, Diana. I don't really want to uh, okay. I don't want to uh, mess it up. Shall I shall I sign it? Shall I? Might as well. Oh, well we have Yes, you should sign it. And uh, if you remember the way that Ian taught us how to sign work. All uh, you should do, all you should do is like a some kind of design with your initials, or just your initials, uh, or some kind of design with your initials. And then on the back, you write out your sign full signature, the uh, date, the title if you want to have a title, and the and the medium that you worked in. That's like you know, if it was mixed media, you would have to say mixed media, but that's just acrylic painting, so you'll say acrylic acrylic paint. That is good advice, thank you. Well, I just remember what Ian said. That was the advice Ian got um, had um, given us, and I, that's what I started doing now. Yeah. Hello, Stacey Hello. Lewin. Hello. Welcome. How's that one? I've done a little G. It is fun working in another media oh yeah i'm a multimedia artist i consider myself a multimedia artist yep because i work in ipad digital art i've done tons and tons of work on iPad, ipad digital art uh, acrylic painting oil painting watercolor painting mixed media and encaustic painting collage and drawing and soft chalk pastels and oil pastels. Tons of mediums. There you go. Sometimes it has my head spinning. I'm like, <laughs> so I, I focus on a certain medium. I don't focus, I don't do all those mediums at once. Those are just mediums. I, I focus on one certain medium, like in the past, and then I I'd spend a chunk of time with one medium and then another a chunk of time with another medium. Yeah, yeah. Now then, I messed up that signature, but I'm going to do it again on here. <laughs> so, are you doing it with a paintbrush? I'm not. I'm going with a sharpie. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Because it's really hard. And if you did want to, they say to use a liner brush, which is a which is a really skinny brush with very long bristles. Yeah. And um, I don't, I have never tried that. I just. Mm. I prefer acrylic acrylic uh, pens or 
I'm a part, yeah. Or, I think or I'm permanent markers in different colors are coming. I, I like to use sometimes metallic if, if it goes with a piece of metal, a metallic gold or silver. Oh, uh, is it Arta's that have got some metallic acrylics? Is it? I think well, it is. a bunch of different companies do. I forget what I think the ones that I I'm not sure if I use Sharpie metallic. I, I don't know. I forget. I, I don't yeah. know. I have a brand of it. Oh, I bet they're nice because Sharpies are a very good brand. Um, oh God, I'm missing the chat. Hold on. Great. Oh, one mighty R says Gracie's doing great. Yeah, you're doing great in acrylics. I say. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate and it. That I mean, Brett's Brett's gaming channel. Hello, new friend. I met him this morning. I did his channel review. He says I'm still here. And he told us that he is doing a live stream today, right? Hey, oh, you can wow. to go to Fred's gaming channel. Fred's gaming channel. Tell us again. And what time zone? What time zone is your live stream again today? You have, you have a live stream today. You, go ahead and tell us in the chat. And Gaswina says the acrylics it is intenser. She believes it's like you're. Here's what you're asking me for. She says acrylics is intense. More intense in color, she believes. Ah, oh, okay. The, and then Roy's the boy was says what he wants to know what are you gonna do with this painting? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Well, I usually uh, I just for sale if people want to, right? What's that? Sorry? It's for sale if somebody wanted, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. You yeah. just need to contact her. So it's she's not doing anything with it. And it's for sale and if somebody is interested. They just contact, well, contact her on Facebook if they can. Yep. Yep. Are you on Instagram? I am, yeah. Not very often. That's I, really I, convenient I for it, direct messaging. Direct messaging is so convenient on Instagram. And I've actually figured out how to do it now. Um, I, I just fiddled with it for a bit. And then, and then I found the direct message thing. Which is on top right of your screen, on uh, on the uh, on the Instagram. So uh, sounds good. Yeah, good idea. Sure. Yeah. Roy's the boy. What say? What are you doing with that painting? That's what she's doing. Um, I'm still here. Okay. How are you? Hi, Ian. How are Stacy? Saying hi, Ian. How are you today? Hello, Stacy. Last kiss. Gracie's doing great. Thank you. I'm good. Awesome. I got double whiteboard on this as well. Oh, Ian wants to come on and plug for Friday. Of okay. course you can. Hold on, I gotta finish reading this chat. <laughs> Brett, channel. I will be live at ten central, ten eastern, and playing trivia. Are you ten at ten p.m.? Brett, are you Brett? Are you talking about ten p.m.? Or are you talking about 10 a.m. every day? Okay, One Mighty R says, I'm learning digital too, slowly but surely. Oh, oh. oh One Mighty R, I, I don't do digital on laptop. I did try it on, I've done, I've done Painter 12. I learned paint. I learned a little bit of Painter 12 on the laptop, but it, because of my vision, I can't stand it. I can't stand, I can't get close enough and so I, I use I do all my digital art on my iPad with a very um, critically acclaimed Procreate app, but I do app jumping. I use I, I also use some other apps, but mainly Procreate. But I also use some other apps like Lenslight, Matter, um, Fonto. Those are some of my favorite other favorite apps. Okay, let's let's okay let's let's, let's buckle down and get get through this. Art journal, da, 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 da. okay. She says, Art journal, that is so cool, Diana. Thank you, Queen Comic Art. And and JCT, I, maybe you're talking to somebody. You said, Art journal, okay. And uh, I'm just gonna take the tape off, Diana. I'm just gonna reveal the white border, yeah. Do that. And uh, can I just can I just teach a very quick technique that I always use, particularly on watercolor paper because it can sometimes tear the paper. So just for a couple of seconds, put your lightsaber on <laughs> and then you just gently keep all of the tape. Well, it looks, I, I think we have somebody interested here in this painting. 
Wow, well, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, and be then, one mighty art says, be right back. Okay, come back soon. All right, then. Thank you very much. It looks like Roy's the boy. He says, how much would you, you know, you should discuss that privately. Yeah, definitely. And, then, uh, and I, um, and then I had some, and I, I, and then I could dis, I need to dis, I could discuss something privately, privately with you too about co to consider things about pricing that I, that I know some things about pricing. That would be awesome, thank you, Diana. Okay, so Roy's the boy. How much? She's not gonna. She can't say right now publicly, but you need to contact her privately about how much would she sell this for. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. So, okay. All right, Ian. Ian. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link. So all you do is you gently with your with your index finger and your thumb right on the edge of the tape and you're on a slant and you just gently, very gently, and the hot heat from the hairdryer or the what is it, craft tool most people use. Well they call it craft like heat craft tool, hair dryer, they call it different things. Yeah. And then you just gently bend me, you just with the side, it has to be on the side because Sometimes if you do it on the flat for some reason, it takes off some of the, the, the texture in the paper. Oh, look at the white border, Diana. It's, oh, that's pretty. Awesome. Oh, yeah, and we have 23 thumbs up. Awesome. And I'm going to send the, I got to send the link to Ian. He's going to just jump on here and quickly plug Friday, Ian Friday, this Friday. He's, a, he's also a regular guest artist of mine on Fridays from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He's going to come on here. He's coming on the panel and just jump on the panel and let us know about Ian Friday. Ian Friday. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna There's a neat little trick for you. And then index finger and thumb, and you just gently take it off the paper. Like so, gently, gently, and white borders take a bit of getting used to too. They're quite. Um, you have to be quite uh, careful when you're there, uh, don't you? You have to be. It takes some getting used to. What do you mean? Well, it took me a few goes to get it all even. <laughs> oh, that. Well, you don't, have to. you don't have to make those white. They do look nice. It does look nice. I just think it adds a bit of, um, I don't know what it adds. So it's, you're going to get more comfortable with making those borders with practice. Yeah, yeah. I have been practicing. Well, I don't, I, when I paint on paper, I don't make borders. I really, I, you no, see. I just don't. I, I, for watercolor, I would consider that. Even for watercolor, I have not been doing it because um, it's because it's not been being taught in the, online classes that i'm taking right now they're not talking about taping off borders with my watercolor or or my acrylic painting my mixed media painting so no no that's no not. so i just not have been doing that because i would go crazy trying to make them even yeah this is i mean i'd be like i uh, like even if i measure something things would still be like oh no even if i measured it it would still be like oh man <laughs> yeah yeah, it does take a few goes, and that's pretty easy. Here's the end. Oh, sorry. Oh. Hello. What do you think there, Mr. Jackson? Very good. Yeah, I that one. I messed up that signature. I messed the first one up. That's yeah. right. Uh, what I would say to you, it's okay at that side, but do not write on the back of it. Oh, okay. uh, with the sharpie pen because eventually it will seep through. Well, yeah, it's it not may not do it first. It 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 it, it will it, it it will come through to the front eventually. It might take a few years to do it, but it will do it. Oh. So don't write if you write on the back of it, write with a pencil. Ah, good to know. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. Ian Friday. Uh, Ian Friday. So it's coming right to that. I mean, oh, the painting is so beautiful. Oh, it's thanks. coming right to that time of year again. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> that time of year? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's only 52, 52 Fridays in a year. Okay. So this is one of them. <laughs> and it's the fifth. How is it? It's the first time this year 
uh, this month that we've had a Friday as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know? okay. I, and can you believe that we are at the fifth month? I know, I know. We survived this long. It's the Jaffa cakes. That's what's keeping it, it going. I'll say, I'll say the unconventional answer. Yes, I can believe it. Everybody has said, oh, my, my time flies. And I'm like, no, no. Uh, time <laughs> marches on. <laughs> exactly the same time. Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, oh, right. I'll quickly. You say that, w there are slight orbital differences every year. Slight. Mm -hmm. But not all the time. Link, uh, Roy, the boy wants to come on. Oh, and then JCT says, Very nice, Gracie. Thank you, JCT. Uh, well, well, we're about you're about to finish anyway, aren't you? But uh, so uh, as regulars will know, where this is, uh, I come on on a Friday and do a similar kind of thing. So I'm planning on doing a coastal scene with boats oh. and a small town in the background. Yay, that sounds awesome. I, I, so I, I, hopefully in watercolour, being as, being as uh, Gracie's forsaken her watercolours, <laughs> I might as well do watercolour. I might as well. Oh, oh. I yeah, forsaken, no, no, no. forsaken no. her watercolours. No, no. Actually, do you know what? It's I the one think... thing that I've... But do you know what? I don't want to give up because if I've spent five to six years solely paying, sure. I want to keep going with it. Hey, if you do give up, if you do give up, you know no. all you, you your equip, you know all your equipment that you've you've got. <laughs> Send them me, I'll use them. Yeah, no, I, you, I, you've I, got I, one of the largest uh, arsenal of um, hey. watercolor equipment I've ever come across in yeah, my life. Yeah, now she does. <laughs> Every week she's buying something new for a watercolor. Oh, yeah, but you need paper. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a professional yeah. watercolorist and I've not got a quarter of what you've got. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. You made a nice painting, Gracie. Thank you very much. I'm not saying anything about art supplies. <laughs> uh, uh, artists and, and um, uh, especially crafters yeah. Uh, a synonymous way buying art supplies and not using them. I know. It's a, it's a crime. You buy them, you have these great ideas. Yeah. I've got a great idea. I'm going to do a painting. Mm -hmm. It's like me. Uh, uh, I, I look at bass guitars and I think, I'm going to buy that and I'm going to learn how to play it. But I bet when I buy it, I don't learn how to play it. No, this is it. I think so the person, buy it. I think the person who's probably yeah. got the most... Uh, supplies in the world would be Lindsay Wyrick. She has an enormous. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, but she that's part that's part of her, her business, isn't it? Yeah, that's part of the business. She she, right. she recommends and uh, you know and a lot of that is sent to her by yes, organisations. So yeah, you know, we can't really mimic what Lindsay does because no. she does it for different reasons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The more the more equipment you get, the more confused you'll get with what to use and when to use I, it. I, for this one, I've only kept my um, small palette for it, and mm -hmm. I just got basically, literally, only the colours that I needed. So well, this one, we're, we're, yeah. with acrylic painting, you, you need to just have basic, like, don't go out buying ceramic um palettes and things like that or uh, yeah. you, you just go go to a pound shop and use them because okay. i'll i'll guarantee you 100 percent you'll ruin them mm -hmm. your palettes your brushes everything else you use with acrylic uh that's why you just don't use expensive brushes with acrylic because yeah. you, you ruin it you wreck it within yeah, months are you getting them, and that's why I like these ones because these were only three pounds for a whole pack of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the one brand that I try to stick to one brand with brushes. Mm -hmm. The only brushes I like are Royal and Nan Nickel and the Windsor mm -hmm. and Eve ones. Mm -hmm. This one, so I, I just thought I'd come on and remind everybody about Friday. 
because it, it it won't be it won't be here on Friday without everybody being there. And, and now you two, you've set a precedent for the week, haven't you? Uh, uh, for expecting us to be there, expecting her. Yeah, well, uh, well, I mean, I need to get as many done I, on Friday at least. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it going to be side down, aren't I? Is it is it going to be uh, sponsored by Jaffa Cakes? No, uh, I, I wrote a stern letter <laughs> to him saying uh, I'm sick of not being able to buy any Jaffa Cakes anyway. I've had to go and buy uh, cheap um, <laughs> fake Jaffa Cakes, <laughs> and um, uh, uh -huh. that sponsorship deal that we were looking at go away. <laughs> I, I, I'll go to Bourbon and get them to sponsor me. Oh, I can't stand Bourbons. <laughs> Come, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. How can you not like anything that's made of chocolate? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, wait. We have a, we have a, a suggestion from Roy's. The boy says, Gracie, have you ever tried using frog tape? Have I ever? Ever tried? Frog Frog tape, F R O G, frog tape. I've never heard of that. I don't... No, I haven't actually. No, I've well, never tried it. I actually have never heard of it. Is it like a, a, a vinyl, a plastic? It like? is, yeah, I believe so. I've heard of it. Uh, you, you, you can, you, I mean, I sometimes, if I've not got my normal tape, I sometimes use um, electrical masking tape. Yeah, that's why I use. Yeah. Uh, but only on on the corners because it can be uh, can quite it, it, the, the glues in it um, can leave an imprint in the paint and, and it yellows it and it's not good in the long run. No. That's why they use. That's why you're supposed to use proper tape. Yeah. Uh, proper artist tape that's archival that don't leave a residual. Um, mess in it. Say, hey, Roy's the boy. If you said you wanted to come up, here's a link. But you have to grab it, mm -hmm. grab it, grab it, please. Grab the link. Grab it quick. Tell yeah. me, okay, yeah. when you got it. Just remember, you can, you can, if anybody does try coming up that you don't want on, I you know, can keep them right. up anyway. So you don't have to have them on. Okay, I know. I can keep them in the waiting room. Yeah, of course. You can. Tell me when you got it. In the waiting room, <laughs> the green room you could call the it the green, green room. room, yeah, or you could call it the basement mm -hmm. now, uh -huh. yeah. I don't know. Are you still there? Are you still there, Roy? This is where I get a bit, I don't like doing this bit because. I know. I I've seen people do. I've seen people do it in the chat when they, when there seems to be a bunch of trustworthy people in around. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't ever add anyone to panel unless I actually really. Know I know. I, I usually don't need. I I'm retracting this because uh I don't. I'm not seeing him. No, I get a bit. To... Come on, I mean, then I'm gonna probably do this wrong. Oh, I'll show you what I've been doing. I've been. Ex uh, do you know what a windfall? A bit of a windfall. Uh Um. I uh, I found an old uh, tube <laughs> of uh, De La Rone gouache that had gone rock hard. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right? It had gone absolutely rock hard. So what I did, uh, <laughs> I, I, I got it out. Uh, one question. What was it doing in the shoe? Oh, we do have someone here. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like him. Hi, Roy. Mm -hmm. Hi, Roy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How you going? So good. How's it down south? Is it going a bit chilly down there? Uh, well, well, where I well south is East London, but I'm in Cambridgeshire mm. at the moment. Uh, oh, well, yeah. still, I mean, from from a Yorkshire viewpoint, that's down south. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> look, look oh, it's not bad, is it? I mean, it, 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 it's, uh, it's gone all, it, 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 it started to get really cold. We're, we're going to have a, a, a zero temperature tonight. Really? Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's going to be uh, a cold one. Yeah, it's going to be a cold one. Uh -huh. So I'm just yeah, going to. What I was saying, 
what I was saying about that frog tape, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's a lot. It's what a lot of people, uh, a lot of um, painting decorators use. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That's what it is. That's what I remember. It yeah. Yeah. With this tape, the paint doesn't sort of go through it. it. Yeah. So when you're pulling it, it, it doesn't it doesn't pull the edges of the uh, the paintings that you're doing. Yeah. When you when you sort of just tear it off and yeah. yeah. It is yeah. worth so when you decorate. So when you're pulling it off, it, it's not pulling like bits of, of where you want the line. It keeps the line where it is. Ah. Yeah. It's it's not a cheap tape, but it is very no. good because I've used it many a time doing uh, uh, like painting the houses and things like yeah. that and stuff like. Yeah. You know, it's really good. Getting a precision finish on it. Yeah. It's it, it's roughly about five pound a, a roll, but well, it is really good stuff. But it's not that far off for actual proper um, tape that's made specifically for artists. It's, so it's around almost the same price. Oh, right, okay. And all, all it is, all it is, is um, the same as normal standard masking tape, but it's got less tack on it. Yeah, artists. Like, uh, no tack. Tack. I wouldn't compare it to any normal masking tape. No. It is a lot better. Oh yeah, that 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 frog tape is. I'm I'm on about the uh, artist, what they call artist tape. The, the oh tape. okay. Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. With, I with mean, if you, if you're painting really good, nice pictures like you have done tonight, and you don't want to ruin them by the end of it by pulling that tape off, mm. frog tape is to me. Is worth paying that little bit extra for. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. There is a, there's two types, and all I do a green and they do a yellow. Um, well, there is a difference between the two of them, but you, you'd have to read the uh, instructions on it. Uh, what it is about it, I, I wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. I've only ever used a green. Yeah, I've never used that frog tape. It, it I mean, I use it when I'm doing me um when I'm spraying my lawnmowers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, if, if I have, don't, don't yeah, I mean, if, if I only have to spray a certain part of my lawnmower, yeah, mm-hmm. I will use that tape because it's a lot better. Wait, right, right. Are you a scrapper? Sorry, say that again, Artfully. Roy, are you a scrapper? No, no, no. I repair uh, lawnmowers and garden machinery. Oh, okay. Is it, is it a, a, a one that's for use with enamels? Because I think sign writers use them sometimes. That too. That's right. Yeah, you can because it the, the paint doesn't actually soak right the way through it, yeah. and it's through quite the glue robust, it and then stick it? to the actual whatever you're doing. It's a lot thicker. It, it, it's got like a, a really rough. Bit, like, has it got a rough texture as well? If that's I'm right. Yeah. Down, yeah. 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 Yeah, I have come across yeah. it. Yeah, I won't, I won't use anything else. It's, I mean, for five five pound a roll, um, that's what it basically really is. Uh, but I think it's really good stuff. Yeah, but most most of the time, Roy, uh, generally for anchoring paper down and things like that, unless you want a decorative bordered edge, uh, yeah. I, I tend to use these nowadays at bull clips. Yeah, it is. Right. Right. Just, just it's got nice, on. and that's mine. Look at mine compared with Ian's. Um, <laughs> well, yours, yours this is, is really old, very tiny. Yours, <laughs> yours is a traditional uh, blackboard one. Yeah. Into a blackboard. Yeah, they, these, these are little they, mini ones. They're the ones that the teachers used to throw at you. Yeah, ah. exactly, yeah. And, and, and blackboard, and blackboard rubber. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, oh. and the blackboard wipes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take that. yeah, I've had that done a few Ooh. times. Don't Ooh. trust me. <laughs> you must have been a naughty boy at school then. <laughs> me? Nah, never. Don't you? No. <laughs> I'm an East End boy. East End oh. boys are never naughty. Uh. <laughs> East End boys? Yeah. That's a nervous uh, East End boys, yeah. East End boys, that's a nervous song. East End boys. <laughs> no, no that I, I, song's West End boys, not East End boys. Oh, <laughs> you know what? 
you know you know that thing that people who come back from vietnam get that post-traumatic stress syndrome yeah yeah what ptsd what, yeah that's, that's diane bringing 1980s up has just brought a big trauma back to me <laughs> why that song <laughs> all them songs oh dear it's coming back into my memory banks now oh oh weren't that rubbish <laughs> Someone quick, give him a jaffa cake. Someone get me a jaffa cake, quick. <laughs> yeah. what's, this, what's this about jaffa cakes? I mean, I love jaffa cakes, oh, but what's this about jaffa cakes? On, 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 on the, the Ian Friday ones, I, I, I was that hungry, I'd not ate all day. And there were a box of jaffa cakes, and I thought, while I'm while I'm painting, I'm going to scoff a packet of this jaffa cakes. And it just stuck with oh. me. I, I have to admit, I mean, my, my second eldest son, if if I bought him a packet of Jaffa cakes, he, he'll have to eat a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got to. <laughs> yeah. Ten, now, ten, ten in the packet, what's yeah, that? Now, That's nothing. Now, now as, as you both know, in this country, you've got your pan shops and things like that, right? Uh -huh. And in some of them, at Christmas time, you can buy these Jaffa cake things that are about three foot tall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get a yeah. big long. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, I, 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 had, I had a request from my, my son when he was 22, and that was on his Christmas list. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Change time to Jaffa cakes. Well, um, yeah. my, my last consignment to Jaffa Cakes came in a box of 10 with each what each box having 10 in each box. So I had 100 Jaffa Cakes in a box and I slowly but surely munched my way through them. <laughs> so, them, and some, them and a great big package of Pringles, which well, again oh, is another, yeah. thing, another thing that you just can no, keep you're, you're naughty. Eat. You're eating too much chocolate and crisp. And... I didn't really ought to, really. It's to count <laughs> you, poisonous chemicals I'm around. Mind you, you live once, don't you? So you why do. not enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I eat normal stuff as well, like carrots <laughs> and vegetables and... Oh yeah, I mean I, I eat all that sort of stuff. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I, I, I've also got me things mm -hmm. like I, I do like a bit of chocolate. I do like crisps. Um, like like I said here at the moment, I'm I'm drinking a bottle of beer. There you go. Okay, you sitting, go. Sitting. okay. Yeah. I have to interrupt you for a minute. I'm sorry because I have a new I have a new member to my channel because oh. I'm a membership channel YouTube. I'm um, doing the opportunity to be a membership channel and. Well, uh -huh. no, I didn't. She just became a member near at the beginning of the stream. That's oh. JCT, and so mm -hmm. I dropped her link. And she's a, she's a one, she's a wonderful nature. She does a lot of nature, nature um, videos and cooking. And uh, I dropped her link for you guys to check out her channel. Mm -hmm. Please check out her channel. It's a direct link that will take you right there. I'm trying to get the hang of. Uh, she shouting mm -hmm. out people that have become members okay so there does she do beekeeping I get, oh what what roy does she do beekeeping oh i don't think you No, i'm pretty sure jct you don't no she doesn't she, no oh, she I'm does a lot of the native american crafts um i don't know if she has oh, okay. any of those videos up yet but gardening <laughs> cooking and um nate nate she loves going on nature walks and she takes videos of her nature walks and sunsets and sunrises uh, okay. water I'll just, I'll just stop. before this is over i should have I, actually i should have done this before i'm trying to get the hang of this okay uh, i've just i've just started doing beekeeping all right uh, uh, we, grew up, yeah. we grew up with a, a beehive in our backyard that was a professional beehive in a cube, mm -hmm. and then they would get they would get it out, and we'd get raw honey, and we'd have raw honey mm -hmm. for the rest of the year. Oh, that's a flow yeah. hive. Oh, a, a friend of mine used to uh, the it the have it in their garden for so long, and then they took take it up onto Pennines in in Yorkshire, and leave it round near the ether 
that grows on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and they'd like pollinate it and you know get all the goodness out of the ever and come back and then get a lovely ever base. Plenty of honey. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, used to do that every year. It will. Yeah. Well, I've only started this year. I mean, I put up a what you call a swarm box, a swarm trap to try and get yeah. some uh, freebies, I should say. Freebies. And I, I had. I had some interest today. All right. Oh. Yeah. We, we, you Which know what? Good. We, I've, this is the first time this year that I've seen a bee today. Yeah. Oh, no. We saw bees like three weeks ago. Oh, that's where all bees are then over in America. Yes, all the bees and wasps are at my house. We got wasp nests under our under oh. our eaves. We got bees coming in our house. Oh, just think yourself lucky it's That's not like on it. Wilderness, and we don't. We do not live in the wilderness, but it's like it's like we do. Mm. Well, ants. Yeah. We've always been visited by ants, and now we just got rid of the ants. Just wait till, just wait till that well, group. Wasp, wasp, you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wasp, if, we do not want. We're that he was him and um my husband and his friend were trying to knock him out of the eaves on um, on Sunday. And on it, it's even worse. The hornets are, yeah. Oh, yeah, right yeah. Yeah. Especially the, the Europe, European hornet, because they're killing all their honeybees. Yeah, oh, they they're very aggressive. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the European hornets are, yeah. Mm. Oh, right. I can yeah. Roy, are you on yeah, Instagram? Yeah, they're killing all the hives. I'm sorry. Roy, I just have to ask you, are you on Instagram? I, I am, yes. Oh, uh, what, under Roy's the boy? Yeah, Roy's the boy, yeah. Okay, because I'm, I'm I'll oh. contact you. I'll contact you in, in, in on the, Instagram. In the uh, chat for, there. I'll connect you up with Gracie. Okay, yeah, I just found her on oh about twenty minutes ago. I found her on YouTube. Uh, oh no, but nobody what? can ever send messages on YouTube. You want to find her? No one ever can send messages on YouTube. That you want to find her on Instagram so you guys can send personal uh, personal messages. Gracie, can you put okay, your you, okay? You send me a link. Facebook link in the private chat in in what they call it where we're at now. No, but you can do the same thing on Instagram. So already they both have Instagram accounts and they can have private chats on Instagram. Instagram direct messaging. Okay. It's very easy. Yeah. Okay. It's Gracie Shack. Look for Gracie Shack. <laughs> yeah, Gracie Shack. Yeah, I found her on YouTube. Yeah. Do you want me it, to it takes me a while to find people too. <laughs> Let me just see if I can find it. You don't look short on YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's probably the camera angle. <laughs> it hurts. You don't look. I'm shorter than her. Oh, like oh yeah. Here's this yeah. is how I look. This is how it could be. Like oh yeah, I'm short. Uh, <laughs> my mouth. Yeah. See how local low I am in the sea. Can, can you see the private oh. chat? Uh, yeah. Artfully, I, I wouldn't have thought you was five foot one. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know why. Why would you think that? You have to look at your body. You do, do like See, over here, we, we call that five foot and a fag paper. Yeah. Five yeah. foot and a what? And a fag paper. Oh, don't, don't, don't say that because they might think you're thinking something. No, else. it's a cigarette paper. Cigarette paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right. I, I, uh, I've oh, he has got some more art supplies. There's a, there's a thing. Right, yeah. I've put it in the it, private, it, in the private it, chat in this in this oh. particular thing. In in I've put Grace's um, Facebook. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. What you send it to Roy? Yeah. Well, no, and it's in chat now. Not, not, not in, not in, not in the uh, YouTube chat. In the, oh, private. the private chat behind the behind the stage, backstage. Yeah, in the yeah. backstage. Oh, well, you know, right. Can you access that, Roy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the private chat. Yeah. yeah. Grace. <laughs> okay. So if you just click on oh, that. Oh, okay. Yep, I've got that. Put a put a friend, just look and then you'll be able to link up with her. Thank you, Ian. I'm just gonna. So you well, you two, 
you carry on talking. I'm going to um, just have a yeah. quick look on this. Uh, I'm uh, using something else to... Just something I've been working... Anyway, what I were on about. Oh, yeah, I got a... I found this tube of rock hard... Um, what do they call it? Dale Rooney gouache. Uh, Dale Rooney gouache. Yeah, yeah. design gouache. It was rock hard. I'd not used it and it had gone totally dry. So I took it out of its tube, wow. bashed it up into a powder, you know, reground <laughs> it into a powder, powder, put some gum arabic in it, and here it is. Oh. Uh, and I've added a little bit of watercolour to make it different colours. Oh, they're bright. Nice. So they, they will be very pastel when they're done. I'll show you a painting. I've done with one. Uh, the, 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 these are uh, swatches from it. Yeah. That's the painting. Oh, wow. That's cool. Just one one at colours, obviously. Yeah. But uh, oh, let me long before they're dry. Get another couple more days and they'll be stable enough to use them. Yeah. So yeah. there you go. Don't don't think that uh, we things like gouache and watercolor. If it's gone rock hard, don't think that that's the end. It oh, is. Okay. Grind it down. You need to. That's not the case with oil or acrylic. No. But with proper gouache and yeah. watercolor, if it goes rock hard, you just grind it down with a pestle and mortar. Okay. Here's the very pestle and mortar I use. Right, you see. Uh, okay. grind, it, grind it down to a powder and then yeah. add some more. Uh, well, I've not got one left now because I've used it all. Some oh. um, gum arabic, gum arabic, yeah, gum arabic, and jobs are done. Yeah, I have heard of gum arabic, but I've never used it. It's for making watercolor, that's what's in watercolor paint. Okay, cool, that's its binder. Uh-huh. I like the color. I, I gotta wrap it up soon. Right. Yeah, me too. Uh, um, so, uh, tell us about Ian Friday again, Ian. Well, it's on Friday and it's about Ian's art. Uh, but we're <laughs> going to be doing, uh, and there might be Jaffa cakes involved as well. Really? So, um, hilarity, <laughs> conversation. Are, are you going back to watercolor or is it going to be something oh, different again? Oh, it looks like I'm going to have to defend the corner of watercolour being as uh, <laughs> as great as abandoned it. <gasps> Shh! Abandoned <laughs> watercolour. It's no longer my watercolour. But you know it's in her best interest. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, Friday, which is, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel. Yeah. Um, um, I did not. I did not. I have not banned watercolor. I love watercolor. I'm just. I'm just having a wee little holiday from watercolor. You're just having an affair and having an affair with acrylics. Yeah. You've just gone to the dark side. That's all. The dark side. The dark side. So, Gracie. Um, hello. Yes. Gracie. Hello. What is your What is your profile picture on oh. Facebook? Oh, it's it's a dragonfly. It's it, it's purple and it's got my name on it. And there's a dragonfly on it on on the little picture. Because I can't seem to find it at all. In well, yeah. that, it, that's it, why it's easier for to find themselves. They can find each other really easy on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, if you go to that, that right? If if you copy that exactly, and then put it into Facebook. Uh, yeah, to do that though, I've got to come out of this one and go into another one. But I'm trying to use it on a. I've yeah. just tried copying yeah. the, the name oh, into a on another a machine. Just make a copy and then save it for a bit. When you go off of this, paste it into your uh, yeah. your search engine, either Google search or or in Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right, true. okay. Yeah, I copied it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, and uh, what I'll be what I'll be doing is uh, a cease. It's um, a town in Italy where they have houses that are all multicolored on this hill. 
Right. And what's the name and of the town? I forgot what the name is. It's very famous. Oh. Uh, it's very, uh, but it's got every house has got a different colour. Oh. Okay. Uh, and and you're looking down uh, from top of an hill, uh, down into the port, where all these really posh boats are. Nice. So it's a bit of a seascape with boats, and uh, the backdrop is this hill with the um different colored houses we are these different color houses in it but we're going to do it in a very loose expressive way very nice so <laughs> that's that's what i'm doing this week and i have not given up watercolors i'm just having a watercolor you better not do <laughs> my young apprentice i spent hours on you getting you <laughs> focused now you can listen you can always use <laughs> watercolor I, I always use watercolor techniques on uh on acrylic painting it's exactly that's true. yeah uh, that's, that's that what i did with the water though, to get that kind of texture that shape in the water because mm. it's kind of because water has a funny kind of all right then so, uh, backyard chickens and chickens and outdoors and he says he says he says, "Hundred, hundred, mine or nerd blur? Do you know what that says?" Oh, he's trying. To, he's trying to give a different link. No, you should do Google. Google. You, you you copy paste and copy it into Google um, Translate, and it'll translate. It'll translate that into English. Well, know what? Dave, no. Dave's backyard and welcome, welcome Dave's backyard chickens. Nice to see you in here. And uh -oh. he's uh, yeah, it's been a long time, been a long time, yes. Why is somebody writing things that are uh, not English? Sometimes I mean, he might have gotten a mess. He he probably got a comment from somebody. I bet he I bet he got a comment from somebody on oh, YouTube. Oh, if it's in YouTube, all you have to do is right click and one of you one of your options is translate click that and it will um, translate whatever whatever's on your page from whatever language it is okay dave you, you get that so if anybody ever says anything in a foreign language in in your youtube mm -hmm. you just right click on it and it'll say translate right. Uh, he says, "Okay, thanks." Yeah, nice seeing you. In here. Uh, hit the thumbs up on if you're and he's going to stay in here. But we're also going to if you didn't on the way in. But mm. uh, I think we're wrapping this up soon. And girls, oh, copyright infringement. That's another. That's another ticket. Oh, yeah. You just. You just. How many months have you been um, monetized? May? Yeah. Since Not March thirty first. Yeah, I know. You can you even have free strikes before then. So why? <laughs> all, all these copyright infringements I'm doing on your channel. What are you doing? <laughs> I've just sung West End Girls by the Pet Shop oh, Boys. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. West End Girls. How can I remember that? That's horrid. I thought I'd wipe that out. I remember that. Beat time. Oh, I thought I'd wipe it out. I thought I'd purged it from my mind in the 1980s, but obviously I haven't. It's a good year, nice. Remember it. I remember it well in the army days. Where were you in army? I was in the Royal Engineers. Bye, guys. Everybody, my, my, dad, my, my dad, my dad used to feed you. You were in Royal Army Catering Car. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you, 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 you always had to love a cook. Yeah, Trust me. Yeah. Oh, he's still a good cook now as well. Yeah, you, you never used to abuse a cook in the army. <laughs> well, because he, 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 he got to be a sergeant major. If you didn't do as you were told, you'd be doing jankers, is it? Is it jankers? Mm -hmm. Well, no, you'd, you'd be JDs. It's general duties. Yeah. 
What's Jankers then? Sorry? Where you were doing taters on that? Sent to do taters? Yeah, know. it's JD, it's GD, general duties oh, in the cookhouse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pe peeling spuds <laughs> and uh, washing up and doing oh, what else. <laughs> I love it. Do you know what? My first job uh, when I was about 13, I, I worked in a Chinese restaurant oh, that nice. was very, very busy. But they did they did English chips as well. And I used to go in and peel all taters for them and get rid of all 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 horrible little eyes and things like that. And I used to love that. It, it, it helped me uh, pay for me going to football and everything. Oh. <laughs> uh, not wrong with peeling taters. <laughs> if it, listen, if it brought in the money, mate, that's all that matters. Yeah, I tell you what, you did used to bring in the money as well. I don't know whether you all used to do it around your way, but there always used to be a big lorry that used to come and pick you up, take you into countryside and do either tatey picking or pea picking. Ah, uh, now, now, when I was a kid, what we used to do as a family holiday, now we're oh, talking yeah. back in the 60s, in seventies, yeah. uh -huh. uh, from East London, you, you used to travel up to Kent, mm -hmm. yeah, on a train, yeah. Yeah. and the car, the farmer used to pick you up on a horse and cart or a tractor, right. yeah, yeah, with a big trailer, yeah. take you down to his farm, and you used to have these little shacks you used to live in, you know, mm -hmm. and it was a working holiday, and you used to yeah. pick all the crops. Ah. Well, well. That's what they used to do, <laughs> isn't it? And that, yeah. and that. Trust me, that was my that was my holiday for two weeks. Yeah, well, when, when you were a teenager. No, when I was a kid, I'm talking um, probably from the age of six up to probably when I was about fourteen. Wow. Okay. After after our school holiday, you used to be going and doing pee picking. Used to be what? Uh, used to be uh, going and doing pee picking. In our local pea picking, oh. picking peas, yeah, uh, yeah. pea pods, yeah, picking pea pods. <laughs> uh, you used yeah. to pick them up as a big group, take us to these, you know, big fields in the middle of nowhere, yeah? and we'd pick peas all day. And that were after his summer school holidays. That's what we used to do. Yeah, yeah. Our family, our family used to go picking all, in camp. We used to pick up all the hops for the beers. Oh, yeah. Did you ever go down and do any of the uh, Somerset stuff and uh, apples for apples? For, nah. Uh, mind you, it's a bit later in the year, that, isn't it? Cider and stuff like that. Time, yeah. Yeah, and no, no. We, 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 only, we only went to Kent and we used to do the hot picking or the strawberry picking. Yeah. Oh, we did. I mean, they were done by a little farm strawberry picking. You could just go and buy your own little hot, uh, little basket of no, strawberries yeah. when you want them. Not, 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 when I, not when I was a kid. It used to be really big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the farm I used to work for, well, not I used to work, when I was a kid, I should say the family, mm -hmm. apparently it had something to do with Wimbledon, so. All right, did it? Oh, well. you got to make sure yeah. the strawberries wait for them. <laughs> oh, yeah, you weren't allowed to eat them. <laughs> I made myself, I made, <laughs> well, I made myself sick a few times. Don't worry about that. Pick one, eat one. That what policy, weren't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, when we used to do, when we used to do the hot picking, um, my old man and my uncles and all that sort of thing. Yeah, they were given coins. They were like tokens. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. By the farmer, mm. and they were allowed to use them in the pub to buy beer. Oh no! Well, there you go. There you well, go. Diane's falling asleep now, so. No, I was checking. I was checking, but I can't see Ian's face, and and I, I was checking. I'm like Ian's. Ian's like not on camera, and then he, neither is like Gracie. No, <laughs> no. What's, what's what's the matter of them? <laughs> uh, well, I, I've been showing him what the Gracie. Call. Come on, Gracie. Let's have a look at Gracie. Oh, Gracie, Gracie no, is a bit on, like Gracie. Don't be shy. <laughs> she's a bit. She's a bit like uh, Banksy. Nobody knows who who she. Uh, who she really is? She don't. She don't go on. She don't go on picture. <laughs> All right. She, she, she'd love to be a Banksy. Uh, have you ever been to the Banksy um show in uh, Western Supermarket? In Western what? Uh, 
No, I haven't. No. no. Oh, no, no. no. I have one yeah, stood oh. next, next to a bank say in uh, Liverpool. No, I've been, I've been to the I've been to the Banksy show at uh, Western Super here. What was that like? What was it? Was it good or? Mm. It was quite good. It was it was a long queue. Trust me, it oh, was yeah. hours hours to get in. Mm. I can imagine. I, okay. I don't know what I don't know what it's like now, but it was really good in. Well, it's still very hot property, isn't it? I mean, it keeps coming out every now and again. Uh, yeah. We're, we're cracking pieces of work, so and that's people want. Like, I mean, as soon as so, it, it gets found out that it's a bank, say, that you've got like security guards around it. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? Mind <laughs> you, I mean, it, I, I've got, I, I've got to say, I mean, state of modern art these days. If it, it, look, if you can sell a banana on a wall for twenty, it took, 20 yeah, 100, it's, it's, I know. Oh, here's, here's I, I can't believe that Kings have done that. This is a good quote that I saw recently. Art is anything you can get away with. Yeah. 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 That, well, that, 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 that sounds like my career. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I am, not, I am not an artist, trust me. Yeah, I couldn't paint to save anything. But if I did, I'll tell you what, I bet I'd make a, a thousand pound on a picture or something like that. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, but I think you've got to be a bit you got to be a businessman about it, haven't you? Yeah. That, I, it. Tell, I, tell you what, I have to admit I have to admit I have got a few prints and mm. I am a big Lowry fan. Right. Oh. Okay. Yes, I am. Manchester, Manchester Museum and have a look at them. In, in, in saying oh. that there are quite a few in Tate Modern of Lowry's. Yeah, I've got few, I've got some out. prints, but mm -hmm. I have I've got some prints, but oh, I have to admit it, it's like reminding me of when I was a kid how I used to paint. Well, yeah. it, 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 it's artist personal expression, isn't it? So we're not yeah. looking at being absolutely perfect. That it's our mission now to get you painting. You're you're as next person to start having a go at painting. Who, Roy? Roy. He yeah. says he don't care, nah. we're, going to him, we're going to get you to start painting. You can always try yeah. thinking. Yeah. You can try have thinking. A go, have, have, a go, have, got, have a go, you'll <laughs> enjoy it. You will I it. have got enough going on in my life at the moment uh, to start uh, painting, seriously. I mean, I've just started beekeeping. I've got uh, me engine motors. I've got me uh, radio control flying. I've got me uh, radio yeah. control yeah. plane And he just building. started beekeeping. Like you said, yeah. well, that's a new I've got enough. A lot plus, to read plus, in yourself. Plus, I've also got my wife to look after as well. Yeah. Oh, you, you've got enough on your plate. We, we're having a wife, aren't you? <laughs> my my <laughs> condolence. <laughs> Shushian. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, what's the weather like when I'll you're like? <laughs> Oh. I was going to say, I take it you, you're not married, Ian, but yeah, you are. Everybody in the hey, chat. Oh, no, no, you, know that, you know that one ring Dad, that rules? 12 people in the house. The one ring that rules, it don't make me invisible, so I'm really upset. Oh, okay. I hope she <laughs> can't hear you, Ian. Yes. Uh, the, the one ring that uh, rules, the one that ring, what is it? The, the ring that rules all. Yeah. yeah. Lord of the Rings quote there. Uh, it, it, it's supposed to when you put it on. It's supposed to uh, make you go invisible, but this one done. It's a dud. Uh, I'll well, tell, tell you what. I don't know what. Oh, it's, it's gone funny. Hang on, hang on. I just got to bring it round. Oh, there it is. Right. Uh -huh. I don't. I don't know. What's that? It won't come off. <laughs> it won't. Come off. Oh, no. no yeah. not. I, I, uh, when I got this originally, it were a tiny bit yeah. big for me, but I've gone down a little bit in weight, and look how easy I can get it off. Look, it's funny, isn't it? That's it, gonna fall like, off. Eh? You gotta uh, watch it. That's gonna fall off. It's not. Look, I mean, I'm hanging it I've, upside down. In now. the cold weather, when the cold weather, when you mm. like, when it shrink, when it, you shrink, in hot weather. 
Put it on that. No, no, cold weather makes your makes your hands shrink, and and I've had rings that are loose like that, and they just and they'll fall off. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 I only really wear it on formal occasions, like when I'm working and painting, and I, I don't wear it. Mm -hmm. Well, then you put it on the middle finger. Yeah. Because if, I, if it gets damaged, my wife will damage me. Because <laughs> she's a little ninja. That's a nice I'm, I'm, sitting at, I'm sitting outside and it's cold now, so I've just managed to get it off. Oh. <laughs> it's funny that how they end up. Yeah, this one's, got, this one's got a diamond in the middle of it. All right. Very nice. Okay, see you on Friday. All right, then. Uh, are you are you going now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Friday, yeah. right? It's UK time, nine o'clock. Mr. Jackson. On yeah. Friday. Come and then I and then I'll try. I'm contacting you boys, um, Roy on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right then. Thank you very Thanks much. much. Thanks for being on. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Bye. Artist Gracie. You're welcome. Thank you Not for everyone. coming on the Bye. panel. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. When, Oh, 24 likes. Yay. Yay, 24 likes. Take care, all. Oh, my God. Yeah, the chat has been quiet. There, there's supposed to be 12 people in here, and they've been really quiet. Oh, hi, May. Oh, hi, May. We're ignoring them. That's why, poor things. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry Fibs. Sorry, Fibs. Okay, We're bye, May. Them. Bye, everybody that's been bye listening. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.